feeling knowing that it's going on now? I can't believe this is happening. Right now, I am heading over to Drew Panisi. He has some t-shirts and Rihanna hats at his place so that I can take it on tour with me. We Canada's tour, Dialogue and Action for Earth Summit 2012, started on January 30th of this year in Cornerbrook, Newfoundland. Hello, friends of the world. 4.31, p.m. Cornerbrook time. The results from these dialogues held across the country during the tour will be compiled in a report that will be presented at Rio de Janeiro at the conference. The Canadian Earth Summit Coalition included um, three policy recommendations. The first one, it's about establishing a better measurement of national progress. The bags are packed, the, everything's good to go. Here it goes. Uh, we just finished up with a, a decently long day uh, promoting for the Edmonton event. We're running from school to school. Right now we're standing in this really long lineup. Hopefully this letter will let me get accredited to the U.S. Yeah, he has a letter. I just have an email. I, I think that. <laughs> Our government's positions do not reflect Canadian values. Canada must assume major responsibility in the fight against climate change. What politician is going to take the steps to seriously address the matter of climate change? Any Rio Plus 20 outcome must acknowledge that there is a major gap in the implementation of the outcomes of the Sustainable Development Summits in relation to climate change. Canada is a great country, one of the hopes for the world. We can be a better one, a country of greater equality, justice and opportunity. We can restore our good name in the world. We can be unstoppable. We can come together. We can change what we don't like in the world. And we can actually create a society that we want to be a part of. Great movements for change begin with great statements for optimism. We can have the future we want we can start to accept each other and just to make it so it would be easier to work together towards common goals. But we should probably be putting the environment on a higher priority. Even if that means cutting down industry, I think it's probably worth it. The damage we're doing takes so long to fix. We can bring change and democracy uh, and be an example for the world. Canada is in a unique position to culturally change the environmental factor of the entire world, actually. We're trying to sustain a future for our children. All I could imagine at the time was my twins playing in a park I used to play at, but now it kind of seems like the park started to turn to a desert. I want to change something so that that wouldn't happen. Each of us needs to envision what our future looks like. But also, with that vision comes a responsibility. Each of us has a responsibility to make that vision a reality. It is youth that has the greatest stake in what we do or do not do in the coming years. Let's get up and make a noise and demand some action. safer, healthier, truly sustainable future.